Hey everyone, my name is Yaya and I'm back today with another crochet video and I apologize for the back. The back is always really messy. Right now I'm working on a big frame because I do rug tufting and um, yeah, I'm working on getting a new frame. So that's why this is in the background. But today we are not rug tufting. We will be crocheting this mushroom necklace. So it fits really well over your neck and some people use it for chapstick, some people use them for lighters, some you can literally put anything in here. And it's really nice because um, this cap will never come off. And I just think it's really cute and I saw these online one day and I decided to just make up a pattern and it's been my trusty pattern that I use. Um, I sell these on Etsy if you're interested, the link will be below. And I thought it was time that I share the pattern with you guys. And I'm really excited to be doing more tutorials. So if you want to see more, go ahead and comment down what you want to see. And um, give a thumbs up so I know that you guys like these tutorials. And uh, any advice if you need me to go slower or more in depth. But today is going to be pretty cut, uh, pretty straightforward, pretty clear. This is a really quick project. They take me under an hour to make usually. But you're going to need two colors. I like to use sugar and cream yarn. Today I'm going to be using red and white. You can see I'm running out of it. But I just use sugar and cream, 100% cotton yarn. And I also use a 4.5 millimeter hook. So let's get started. Okay, so first I'm going to start with the white part, and the white part is also connected to the necklace part, so that's going to be all right now. And also I like to put little spots on the cap just because it makes it a little bit cuter to me. And um, just so you know, you don't need that much yarn for this project. This is great for when you only have like a few, just a little bit of yarn left. And you can use any colors, but I'm going to be using white and red as I said previously. And so now let's get started. So I'm just going to get my bottom colored yarn. I'm going to use white and I'm going to do a magic ring. And I'll briefly show you how to do a magic ring. But if you want a better video, just go ahead and search magic ring on YouTube and it should pop up. But I just put the yarn like this in my hand and I put my thumb on here. And then I make an X with the yarn. I just go over. And then I put my hook under here and I pull it. And then I yarn up and I grab this piece of yarn and I pull it through like that. And then I just grab it like that so that it's in my hand like this. So from here, you're going to chain one and then we are going to be doing 11 double crochets into this hole. So you're gonna yarn over, go into the hole pull out and then pull through two and pull through two. So this is going to count as a double crochet. So in total you'll have 12 and you just have to make sure you do 10 more. So I'll do a few more on camera and then I will meet you at the end. Okay, so now I have four, so I'm going to be doing eight more double crochets, and then I will meet you at the end. Okay, so now I finished 11 double crochets, and you can just count them by counting these. So one, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So yeah, so we have 12 total, including the first chain two. And then you'll see this loose string, and you're just going to want to pull that as tight as you can. You just pull it as tight as possible and that shouldn't come off but we'll um, put that away in a second. So then I'm going to put my hook back in here and if you look really closely here you'll see that there's two chains and I'll just go into the top one which is like the original chain one that we did and it doesn't have to be very clean. You, could, you just have to go in it and then pull the yarn through both and then that is secure. Okay, so you have the bottom part. So now we are just going to start making the long part to make the stem. 
So now what you're going to do is you're going to chain one and we are going to be doing half double crochets on the back loops of all of these chains. So we're going to yarn over and you'll see right here that you're going to put your hook in, pull it out, and then you will pull through all three loops. And you're going to do that all the way around. So you should be doing this 11 times total. So you're going to yarn over and you'll see that there's two strands here and you're going to only go to the back strand and then yarn over. And then there's two, you're just going to go in there, pull through and yarn over. So I will meet you back here and show you how to connect it. Okay, so there should be 11 chains all the way around and you can count that through the top. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That one's eleven. And so now we're just going to join. And so you'll do that by if you look here at the top, our first chain. Not the chain here, but our first half double crochet. You're gonna go through both loops pull through and tug. So yeah. Okay, so that is one and you're going to have to do six more of these, but I'll do the next one with you too and then I will, um, yeah, so I'll do this next one with you again. So we're going to chain one and then you're going to be doing a half double crochet again all the way around and we're going to be doing it in this first hole. So yarn over into that hole and then pull through all three and we're just going to keep doing that all the way around and I'll meet you again once you get back over here so now that I'm done I'm going to join the same way I did before and you'll see the first half double crochet right there. I'm going to put my hook in under both loops, pull through and just like that. So it's usually on this row where I like to push this out and there's this loose uh, string from when we pulled this tight. I just like to use my needle to just hide it so that it's secured because I don't want it to unravel. So I'll just put it under a bunch of loops. And then I'll just snip it and that should be safe. That's not going to go anywhere. And then we can go back to what we were doing. Okay, so you have two rows already done and in total here you're going to want seven. So make sure that you do this five more times and I will meet you at the top but I'll just do it one more time so I'm going to chain one yarn over into this first hole half double crochet so it goes through all three and then you'll see the next hole you're going under both loops pulling through like that so you're going to finish this one and then just make sure there's a total of seven and I'll see you at the end. Okay, so I finished seven rows here and now what we're going to be doing is making the necklace part, which is super easy. It's just going to be a chain of 80 single chains. So 80 single chains. <laughs> so after you've joined, I like to just do this for extra measure. I'll chain one and then I'll go into the same hole and then chain one again just so that it's really secure 
and then you're just going to chain 80 and I'll just do a few with you and then I'll meet you at the end of 80. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So yeah, it's just as easy as that doing 80, but make sure not to connect it. You need to leave it loose. So once you've finished your 80 chain, you're just going to want to cut this much of a piece. Um, it doesn't have to be this long. And then you're just going to pull it out all the way and just tighten it like that. And then you should just have this so far. And now we're going to be making the cap. And lucky me, I'm barely running out of yarn. I barely just had enough to make this one. But yeah, I just set this one aside and... Let's do the cap. So to do the cap, you're going to start by doing a magic ring. So the same thing. I just grab it like this and I make an X. I go, I go under and then I pull through. And then you're not going to do an extra chain this time. You're just going to straight do um, six half double crochets into this circle. So you're going to yarn over into the circle, pull through, and then pull all three. Pull through all three loops. So I'll do that again. You're going to yarn over into the magic ring. You're going to pull this through and then pull through. So you're going to do this six times. I'll just do that with you just because I have time. Three four, five, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And now the same thing, since you have this loose string, you can just pull that as tight as you can. And then we are going to make this a circle. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll count six. And then you will insert your hook under, sorry, under both chain, I mean, under both like loops. So I'm gonna put this under both loops like that. And then you're going to pull through both and you'll have a perfect circle. So now, Everything is going to be half double crochets, and in this second round, we are going to increase in every single chain. So you'll be ending with 12 stitches. So I'm going to chain one, and then half double crochet into this first stitch, and then again in the same stitch. So there's two, and then under this one. four, six. So finish the next six and then I will meet you at the end. Okay, so once you finish the 12, you are going to count to 12 and then you'll find your first half double crochet stitch and you will put them, you will put your hook under both loops pull the string through both and tighten that. And you should have a little round little mound. So now we're going to be increasing again, except you're going to do one increase, one normal, one increase, one normal. And at the end of this chain, you should have 18 single crochets. So, or 18 half double crochets, sorry. But I'll show you how to do that. So we're going to chain one and into this first one, we are going to do two half double crochets. So one, two. And then in the next one, you are just going to do one. So now you'll have three and you're just going to keep this pattern going all the way around and you should end on a single half double crochet. So to the next one, we're going to do two half double crochets and then one single crochet. 
or single have to, I'm sorry if I'm confusing you guys <laughs> I'm just I'm confusing myself and then so I did two half double crochets here and then one half double crochet here so just make sure that you keep this pattern going two half double crochet one two one all the way till you get to the end and you should just have one and you will have 18 all the way around Okay, so um, now I recommend counting from here to 18 to make sure that you put it in your first half double crochet. But we're going to be joining by putting our hook into our first half double crochet and pulling through both loops and making sure that's tight. And then we're on our fourth row. There's going to be five rows total. And now we're just going to be doing um, half double crochets all the way around normally. So this row you'll be ending in 18. And the next row you'll be ending with 18 as well. So um, you're going to single chain and half double crochet into this hole. And then half double crochet in the next one. And just half double crochet as you would normally. All the way around. And then that will be the end of the fourth row. And then we will only have one more row and we'll be done with the cap. Okay, so I finished the fourth row. So I'm not going to explain it too much. But you're just going to close this chain too. So now we're going to be doing our last row, aka the fifth row, and you're just going to be doing the same thing you did for the fourth row. It's going to be half double crochets all the way around normally, and you should end with 18 half double crochets. And so we're going to chain one, half double crochet into that same hole, and then just keep half double crocheting all the way around, and then we'll be done with this. Okay, so I just finished the fifth row, so I'm going to do the same thing I've been doing, is joining it. And then I'm just going to chain one, get my scissors and snip that, and then pull it through and tighten that. And this is your time where you can hide all of these loose weaves, or loose um, strings, so that they're out of your way. And next I'm going to show you how to make the little spots and then how to connect these. Okay, so now you're just going to need a piece of string. It doesn't have to be too long, but um, this should be fine. And if you need more, it's no worries either. It's not something that's um, very, like, it doesn't mess with the structure of the mushroom so you can always just use more string if you want to or less and also of course you can just have your mushroom like this it still looks really cute um, but I just like to add the little dots just because it makes them a little bit more special <laughs> so um, pretty much what I do is I just go into random places and I first start by leaving a little tail so that I can weave it in later and then just randomly going in and just making these little dots. But um, what I make sure to do is that every time I make one of these, I, and I put two layers of yarn just so that it's really um, obvious that there's, a, that there's a spot there. And then I'll just go all the way around, just filling it up with as many spots as I want. And they can be big and small or whatever. You can make them different colors. Um, it just adds just a little bit of cuteness to it, I think at least. So feel free to leave them out if you don't really like them. But yeah, this is just some pretty simple, almost embroidery. And... Yeah, so that's three spots. I'm just going to cover it all the way around and I'll show you after it's finished. So I'm satisfied with the spots on here and now what you're gonna do is weave these loose strings in and I'll be back when I finish with that. 
Okay, so now you have both and it's time for the final step. And that part is pretty easy. So you're gonna start by going to the end of your 80 chain and putting this onto your thread. And then you're gonna to go to your mushroom and just pick two places that you are comfortable. I like to put them like kind of on even like places on each side and just pick two holes where you want your mushroom or where you want the necklace to go through. So I just pick two places that look pretty similar and pretty even. That looks pretty even. And then I just like to test it out a little bit, just make sure I'm satisfied with it. Yeah, that looks pretty even. And then I just fold this in half and I make sure that I go exactly halfway. I go exactly halfway and I put my needle in under this chain. If you want, you can count. I'll count for you really quickly. Um, it is one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four. And then on the fifth chain, I put my needle through and I use usually both of these chains and I'll just go through a bunch of times until I feel that it's safe enough. So then I'll go through the other chain and then I'll put it through the 80th chain on the necklace and I'll just kind of just keep doing that and making knots and you're not going to be holding really heavy things with this so you don't have to be too worried about um, it being super strong but if you just do it a few times it, it'll definitely be strong enough and then I just kind of put it through random holes and um, figure out a place to put a knot. And I like to put the knots on the inside just so that you can't really see it. And so then I'll just pick some random chains that no one will ever see because it's inside of the stem. And I'll just make a tiny little knot here. And then I'll just weave that in. And then I'll just weave that in and pull that tight. And just make sure it's secure. Just make sure you can tug on it. But you won't ever really hold anything that's too heavy. And then I will... And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to cut this nice and close. And then you should have your finished mushroom holder little necklace. I still haven't come up with a name for it, but yeah. And you can make this in any colors, and yeah, I love it. It's so cute. It turned out really nice. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I really hope you liked it, and I really hope it was clear enough. And I'm just going to put this on just because I can. And if you make your own mushroom cro crochet mushroom necklace holder. If I say like a mushroom holder, it makes it sound like this is for holding mushrooms, but it's not. It's just shaped like a mushroom. So if you have a good name that I could call this, please comment it down below because I am in dire need of that. Um, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more because I love making these tutorials for you guys. And I am a beginner, so if you have any advice for me, any questions, any suggestions about anything in the video, go ahead and comment those down below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. And thanks again to all of my new subscribers. I love having you guys here. And thank you for being awesome. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a lovely day and take care.